Here, here, the message is here. From our father dear, loud and clear. The, the J-Vaxxer at, at work. work. Cluster versus diversity. Genesis chapter 10, verse 5. From these, the coastland peoples of the Gentiles were separated into their lands, everyone according to his language, according to their families, and to their nations. I'm frequently inspired to write my devotions during the quiet hikes in the hilly rocky forests of Connecticut and nearby Massachusetts. During these hikes, it's very common to come across clusters of pines, white birch, oaks, mountain laurels, and other species of plant life. A cluster is a group of similar things positioned or occurring closely together. This clustering is not a negative characteristic of plant life. There are understandable environmental reasons why plant life has a tendency to cluster. And as a lover of nature, I am free to walk through all of these clusters along the trail, enjoying and appreciating the diversity without expecting to see every species growing together in the exact same location. In a similar way, it is natural for social and economic clustering to take place in humanity. This human clustering has taken place for thousands of years, since early in the book of Genesis. There is nothing inherently wrong or unjust about it. Diversity, however, is a hot buzzword in today's culture and workplaces. As we journey through life, diversity of people is to be accepted, enjoyed, and appreciated. However, be aware that current politically correct views of, assumptions about, and expectations for diversity are extreme, unrealistic, and impractical. In my view, much of the intense focus on diversity is simply misguided groupthink and manipulative posturing. Like nature, people groups will always be prone to cluster, regardless of ethnicity or industry. Clustering and diversity are not mutually exclusive. The societal and spiritual problem arises when clustering makes people so ingrown that they fail to explore engage with, relate to, appreciate, and enjoy the wider diversity that exists in the forests of humanity with the love of Christ at our inner core. Now before we go, let us consider these questions below. First, what misleading viewpoints have you encountered about cluster and diversity in your work or life? Second, how does the love of Christ play a role in how we handle cluster and diversity? Third, as individuals, how can we find a balance between cluster and diversity? The program is proudly presented by Global Reach Out. We welcome you to share our live enriching webcasts with family and friends through our website, global-reachout.org. Let's reach out to bless more lives together.